My name is Suzanne Fuller, and I have seen God at work in my life through prayer. Yeah, several years ago, I was at a study here at the church that Adam Jones was teaching, and there was a girl sitting next to me that I knew her name, I did not know who she was, and uh, we realized that we had, had been sharing the same devotional, that we'd been reading the same devotional. And after the course, she asked me if I'd like to come to her house and uh, pray with a group of women called Moms in Prayer um, for our children. And uh, I thought about it because this was on a Friday and this was gonna meet on Monday at 11. And I thought about it and I thought, oh, I don't think so. And I was really actually almost nervous about it. And then I kept getting pushed by the Holy Spirit and I decided, okay, I'm gonna go. And before I knew it, we started praying. We started praying for our children. Uh, in a very organized fashion. Um, and I learned a lot about the women just through the prayers at that table that day. Um, because you're sharing prayers for your children. So you'll go around that group and I'll, if I were praying for my child, everybody in that group will pray for my child. And then it'll be for the child that the other person picks. And uh, they pray for the school here at the church. They pray for the students, the administration, um, and the school itself for protection. Um, and they pray for the schools of the grandchildren that are involved or the children that are involved. So we've been praying since day one of school. And this year, uh, it's almost like the floodgates have opened. Within two weeks, we had five or six answers to prayer. If you take a school of that many students, you have some really serious needs in prayer. And to see the answers coming out already have been unbelievable. And like I said, we pray scripture, we pray God's promises, so we see answers. He answers His promises. I have two children. I have a son in Atlanta with three children of his own, and I have a daughter in Orlando um, with four girls, all girls, and three of those girls are triplets. Um, I have seen the triplets be healed of physical issues, I've prayed and prayed that all my grandchildren would end up in Christian schools. They're all in Christian schools, every one of them. And I'm seeing my own children reevaluate their lives, whether it be their professions, the time that it might take from their families, trying to find ways to, to have more time with their families. To, uh, I've prayed for my son to be the spiritual leader of his family. These are all things. And some of these prayers have taken three, four years and a lot of patience. Um, but we do see them come to fruition. He has strengthened my belief in him beyond anything I thought was possible. Um, I no longer worry about whether he can do something in my life or not. I know he can. Also, I've learned that when I don't know how to pray, if I go to scripture, the prayers will just pop off the page and into my heart. And I've also learned that if I'm sitting and I'm reading scripture with a Bible study or something, something will pop up off that page that will remind me to pray for someone and an issue that I know, know I'm, they're going through. And then I, I saw this scripture in Jeremiah, it was 33, um, and, it, and it said, um, call on me and I will come to you and I will show you um, great and hidden things that you have not known. And I think that's what prayer has, has done for me, that it's shown me great and hidden things that I have not known. And it, I start looking for the answers. I start trying to see where God's at work. Um, and that's a, that's a beautiful thing, that you start to recognize that He's at work and you didn't have to do it. All you had to do was pray.